Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. We're ready to embark in another voyage in Sea of Thieves. So, on the on the other video we did the stash of the Captain Bones. And it turned out to be a huge mess because I'm stupid. But I learned a couple lessons from that video. So I think it's going to be useful for us over this second voyage. Uh, I'm still playing solo because I still think I, I have a bunch of stuff to learn. So I'm going to use that opportunity to do maybe all of these three initiation voyages. Let's uh, do the stash of the dirty Grand Deep Preston in this video. I've never done this one, so uh, everything's going to be new. All right, so there's a little bit of a storm going on. Holy crap. I just realized, look, look at the size of this thing. That's that's scary stuff. But anyways, we learned a couple of important lessons on on the last video, which I think are gonna help us out a lot over over this one. So, all right, the frame rate is a little bit weird right now. I I had not experienced this uh, sort of frame frame rate issue before not sure if, if it has any to, anything to do with the storm or I don't know but it doesn't matter I, I'm gonna do something different I'm gonna I'm gonna load the cannonball the, the, the cannon with some cannonballs before we get started just so we have a way to defend ourselves in case uh, we come across an, an enemy ship or whatever whatever we might encounter during our, our voyage Found on, on Snake Island, it has a luster, but fair courage you have to muster. So, looks like we need to head to Snake Island. Okay, so it's right up ahead, but well, actually it's back. Uh, we're, we're facing uh, southwest, so we need to head north, straight north. I'm not sure if all of the treasures that we find in this game, we need to dig them up or if they're found in plain sight, but we need to face maybe a bunch of enemies. Looks like that's the case in this one. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, let me roll down the sails and get started. I just check the surroundings so I make sure I don't hit anything. <laughs> While I'm turning the ship. Because it has happened many times before. I even sunk a ship where I was part of a crew. On my very first video that I uploaded for Sea of Thieves. I think last week. Uh, I sunk the ship and that feel pretty shitty. <laughs> I don't want to do that again. Well, not that I did. Not that I wanted to do that <laughs> in the first place. But you get my point. All right, so we need to sail towards Snake Island. It looks and looks like uh, there's gonna be a bunch of enemies because the the riddle I found on that map uh, kind of suggests that. And I don't know how I'm gonna pull that off uh, solo. It's, it sounds like this is the type of a uh, of voyage that. Would be better suited for two or more players. Of course, the more the better. But I'm playing solo, so I'm going to have to face this by myself. 
I guess we're gonna find out once we arrive at Snake Island. So I'll talk to you guys when I when I reach there. Okay, so we arrived at the Snake Island. Looks like that's the island just up ahead. We need to find a. I don't like this sound. Uh, I need to find a proper place to po to anchor the boat, the the vessel. I think this might be it. I, I don't think I need to roll up the, the sail anyways. Well, I hope there isn't shark nearby. On the last video I almost got bitten by, by one, so... Well, let me... Alright, so let me check the map again. Okay, so... The map update... Oh, there's a shark here. <laughs> Anyways, the map updates... Once you reach the location, which is great. So there's another clue here. The sunstone, the southwest beach of the largest isle, holds secrets and told six space northwest, dig a fine hole. So the sunstone on the southwest beach of the largest isle. So it looks like we're on the, on the larger... <laughs> oh my god, my English doesn't want to come out. We're on the largest isle. So southeast... Oh, so that's the, the sunstone. Let me check the map once again. So, the sunstone on the southwest beach of the largest isle holds secrets untold. Oh crap, oh crap, I can hear sound. Oh crap. I think I'm gonna die. One thing that I did not realize is that on on the other video is that if you eat a banana, you replenish your health. And I and I had a lot of bananas that I had collected uh, <laughs> before, and I did not realize that, so I ended up dying for nothing. I just want to have. So the sense, I, I, one thing that I'm confused about is that I'm not sure whether or not each of these isles uh, have uh, tombstone, uh, uh, sunstones like this one. Six space, spaces northwest, dig a fine hole. So we're up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Would that be it? Oh, <laughs> that was easy. I thought it was going to take me a lot longer for me to find this, this treasure chest, but it was fairly easy. I ended up uh, anchoring the, the vessel on the, on the correct uh, aisle. Now, I just realized that I, that I anchored my, my boat. way too far well, I hope the shark doesn't come bite me I hope the shark doesn't come bite me oh. that was a relief <laughs> alright so 
let's just uh, store the the treasure away and get the hell out of it out, out of here because I don't want to risk uh, coming across other players. Okay, so we came from uh, south, so we need to head back south in order to go back to our outpost so we can exchange the, the treasure chest for gold. So that's exactly what we're going to do. One thing that I that I love about this game, right, right, uh, right as soon as, as when I started playing it uh, in the alpha session almost a year ago, is that this this game has I don't know it has such a soothing uh, type of gameplay. You know, of course you're, you're gonna you're gonna have to face a lot of combat whenever you come across uh, enemy ships, especially so if people are willing to attack you in the first place. But um, I don't know. There, there's a soothing element to this game that kind of makes uh, it relaxing. It makes you want to play it just to I don't know enjoy. There's not a whole lot of competition going on, especially so when you're when you're playing solo like I am right now. And I love that about games. Uh, I know I, I'm most of the games that I play. You can tell by just scro scrolling scrolling quickly uh, through my channel that most of the games that I play on a regular basis basis are racing ones. So competition is usually a huge part of what I. Of what I usually do as to have fun you know and it's it's really nice to sometimes take a break from that and do something uh, relaxing instead oh oh crap I'm gonna crash I'm gonna crash I'm gonna crash oh that was bad that was bad I need I need to get the, the treasure As you can see, I don't give a damn about my ship. I just want a treasure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that my ship is going to sink. But let's worry about that once we actually exchange the the treasure chest for gold. Nice, so we got 52 gold coins in exchange for that. And I think we're going to level up a little bit. Yeah, we'll level up. We're level 4. I know that when we reach level 5, we're going to be uh, unlocking some stuff. I I need to check on that. But let me just go back quickly to my ship and see. Oh no. I, I, I think it's beyond repair at this point. Too late. <laughs> I lost my ship. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the second ship that I sink in this game. and <laughs> Well, at least now I'm solo. I don't have to feel bad about it. The only person who got screwed up because I'm stupid was myself. So, uh, <laughs> I... <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that's really bad. I need to figure out a better way to anchor uh, the vessel before actually hitting something and causing this type of uh, accident. But yeah, that was a really easy voyage. I, I would have expected this to take a lot longer, but it was really quick. 
But it was fun nonetheless. This game is really fun, as I've said many times before, and I, I'm going to continue saying that because I, I don't think I've ever played any game like that uh, in my entire life. So it's quite refreshing to see something so different uh, com coming to, to the gaming community. So we can all enjoy because this is going to be an X Xbox exclusive, but it's, it's also going to be uh, available on the PC as well. And if you if you sign up for the Xbox Game Pass, which is like the Netflix for games that Microsoft has for Xbox One, uh, you pay $9.99 a month and you're going to get access to this game as soon as it launches. So that's really... Uh, a really a real great value i bought the game because i want to own it but that's a great value for people who just want to access to the game and not worry about owning it but anyways guys that's been it i hope you had fun as much fun as i had playing this this voyage if you did like the video hit the like button subscribe to the channel for more sea of thieves content share the video with your friends and on your social media it helps me out a lot and i really appreciate the help Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links are in the description down below or in the beginning of the video. And I hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye.